Get this, it has been roughly 50,000 years since our planet has had a green encounter of this time. I'm talking about a dirty snowball. Now, you know what that means, but for those of you who aren't nerds, I'm talking about a comet. <laughs> Meteorologist John Hickey has more about it in this week's Skywatch 16. Yeah, we're not talking yellow snow, Scott. Yeah, no, we're talking... Uh, yuck. <laughs> no, no, we're talking stuff uh, coming up at our night sky. Now, eyes have been looking up for this in recent weeks, but it's been so cloudy more often than not that it's been hard to see this. So what is this? Well, it's called the Green Comet. Its official name is C2022E3Z. ETF. It's a mouthful. Now, it was discovered by astronomers last March at the Zwicky Transient Facility. That's a wide field camera at Caltech's Palmer facility. In astronomy, things get named for what's uh, found in the night sky by the people or the places that discover them. That helps explain the crazy name. Now, the Green Comet is making its closest path to Earth tonight. But when you're talking astronomy, close is a relative term. It is still 26 million miles away and zipping along at nearly 130 miles an hour, 130,000 miles an hour. That's fast. Now, the comet appears green because of the giant carbon gas cloud that's surrounding it. So here's how you can see it. You're going to need a clear night sky, kind of like we have tonight, and a clear view to the northwest. Any time after midnight is typically best for this. Now, it's not going to be visible to the naked eye. You're going to need a pair of binoculars or a telescope. The green comet should be visible through next Friday. If you miss it, you snooze, you lose. Scott won't be back for another 50,000 years. Also should be noted, the Friedman Observatory Wilkes-Barre, great place to see it.